Hello ladies. In this video I'll be talking about harmonic down bouncers. Ta-da! Alright, now when the crankshaft turns inside the motor uh, and it and reaches its uh, frequency, vibration frequency, it starts vibrating. Like a tuning fork, for example. You hit a tuning fork and it starts vibrating. Now that's very bad for your motor. And the torsional vibrations are highest furthest from the flywheel. That's why this thing is mounted in front of your motor. But she didn't know that. Well, now you know because you're watching the clown's videos. Well, anyway, if say you have a high revving motor, high RPM motor, and you're revving this thing up to 10,000 revolutions per minute, well, a lot of things could happen. First thing, I would have an S I would get an SFI uh, uh, damper because uh, those things are rated to certain RPMs. Secondly, this inertia ring, which is the outer ring here, this metal ring, anyway, let me backtrack a little bit. This is the inner hub, you have an elastomer rubber ring around it, and then you have the inertia ring on the outside, this metal piece. This, in, this if at high RPMs, you could rev it so, so um, you could, when you rev it high, the relation from the inertia ring to the inner hub can actually move. So you, the timing mark on here could be way off. So when you put your uh, timing gun on it, you could be way off and lose a lot of power. Uh, that's another reason why I need a SFI approved and a nice uh, balancer for racing. Also, uh, you could also get an um, aluminum one, less rotational mass, more, you know, it'll give you more power, more acceler better acceleration, yada, yada, yada. But when you go uh, performance ones, make sure you call a manufacturer, like uh, for example, ATA, for example. Call them up to see which one is best suited for your, ap your application. A nice trick I like to do also here, while I'm at the topic of timing, I get some whiteout. I put in a timing mark. You put it all in there, then you just wipe it clean with your hand, and that's what you're left with. Isn't that beautiful? For you, get, for the guys that actually do, you know, when you adjust your timing, you're gonna love this trick. All right. Uh, now, there's a few things that uh, actually, actually, let me talk about one more thing. I hate it when I see guys hammer this on. You're not supposed to hammer this on, especially when uh, they hammer it over here. Because it could, it could uh, move the relationship of the inertia ring with the inside hub because this rubber elastomer piece. So don't do that. There's uh, installation tools for it and uh, tools to remove it. So keep that in mind. Uh, sorry about that. Now, in order to know when you, could, uh, when you should replace this, look at the outside rubber ring. If it's cracked or a bulging... Oh, or just, just something you know not looking right about it then it's time to replace it uh, if you're looking at it from above and your engines uh, turning if you see the balancer wobbling no good you should replace it grab it by hand see if it turns if it wobbles if it does then replace it usually you have a pulley on it which it's connected to your serpentine belt so if you see the pulley vibrating or, or bouncing around wobbling, then it's uh, also time to replace it. If you hear uh, your engine vibrating, that's not good. That means it's bad. It's not doing its job of damping those vibrational, uh, torsional uh, vibrations. And that could ruin your bearings inside your motor too, the crankshaft bearings, which is really bad. So if you have uh, bearings going bad often for no particular reason, this bad guy here could be the culprit. Uh, you crank, worst case scenario, you crank and crack, and you don't want that. That also is cause of a, of a non-working, non-functional uh, harmonic balancer. Uh, if, you're, if your belt is slipping also, because remember this connects to a pulley in the front of your motor. If your belt is slipping when the uh, motor is running, you can hear a noise uh, squealing. It could be also this uh, making it slip from wobbling or whatever the case is, you could also have your alternator not working properly, which is also because of the the alternate of the belt connect to the alternator. And uh, if that goes also, this could be a projectile. Also if you have regular idle too, it could be because of this. Now if this fails also and this ring comes out, it could take a lot of things with it. It could, it could ruin your radiator or cause all sorts of havoc and mess inside your engine bay. So very important to keep, be on top of this bad boy right here. 
All right, I think that's all I have to say about these things. If you like my video, please like it underneath. It's free to like me. Or if you want, you could ask me for my number. Uh, ladies only, even though I am Greek. Anyway, if you like my videos, also please subscribe. It's free to subscribe. And please come again. Thanks for watching. Take care.